Welcome back to Arx Fatalis. My main mission at the moment is to construct the ultimate weapon. And for that I need mithril and apparently I need some... some dwarves to forge it. For they are the best forgers in the world. Or something. Also want to look out for a island of lava or an island in the lava. Something of the sort for the fourth clue. What is the fourth clue? Ah, here it is. Uh, oh yeah, find the Lava Island. And take a close look at it. Alright, let's move on ahead and see what's here. You know, in my suit of armor, standing over this grating with lava about three feet below me, I think I may have a little bit of a problem with heatstroke. It's okay, though. I can always just douse myself. Mmm. Feels good. <laughs> Dwarf zone, no magic permitted. Okay. And I know from the last time I tried to go here that magic does indeed not work, but it does take up your mana, so... It's not worth it. Hmm. Oh crap, it's actually flowing lava. This environment is so cool looking. I love it. Let's go check out the dwarf zone, see if we can actually find the dwarves. I also want to find the portal down here so I can activate it. Hmm. What the fuck happened here? I think the dwarves were perhaps slaughtered. of brain on the ground. I can turn the... the spit. Also, that looks like a secret door or something, but... I don't know, maybe that's just part of the look of the place. Foundry? Oh. Well, hopefully there's still at least one alive. Whoa. Wait, isn't magic not permitted here? Shit. Uh. Okay, did some damage. Oh my god! Holy shit. It almost killed me in one hit. Go. go no, no. Fucking. Oh, it's slow. It's slow. Who cares? No big deal. Unless I hit a dead end, and then it's a very big deal. Um. Shit. Well. This is an interesting spot to be in. Um, I suppose I could just use Levitate, couldn't I? Which seems a lot safer than trying to jump to and fro. What? Oh. Oh! No magic! Fuck! Alright, I guess we're jumping. I just jump further away. a very far jump. I wonder if that thing's actually killable. I did do damage to it. Ah. Okay. We're fine. Hmm. 
Can I pick this lock? I can't do that. It's the body of a dwarf. Whoa. thing isn't coming. I want to loot this body while having a look at this hallway, but I can't. Okay. A power stone? What the hell is that? And an instruction manual for the forge? Okay. So I don't think you actually get to en encounter the dwarves, do you? I think they're all dead. I guess you have to do it yourself. Oh god, that's dwarf flesh. I don't know why I'm taking it, but I feel like I should. I don't know, maybe it has a special purpose. A key to something, probably to the foundry. Power stone, don't know what that's for. Probably for the foundry as well. Um, okay, so this... Uh, there's no point in reading this until I actually get to the foundry. Let's leave that. Rest in peace. Oh, shit. Wait, how... How do I get past... You. Um... Oh, the key is for that door, isn't it? Well... That's wonderful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a wonderful chase sequence. Casually kind of run away. N no, not run. Casually walk away from an enemy that is also very slow, and if you mess up and go down the wrong pathway, um, you're dead. Can it open it? Oh, yep. Okay, again. Oh, well, there you go. Nice open place over here. Can kite that thing nicely. What does this do? It doesn't work for some reason. Jesus, this place is disgusting. Like, it did that? Did that one thing kill all of them, or did a bunch of those things kill them? Hopefully it can jump. Although I think it can. It probably can. Maybe not. I think I need to find some way to crush it, probably, with that thing. <laughs> Is that the only... lever? Lavour? Or I could just keep running. Hmm. Hold on, what is this? Probably gonna regret falling down here, but... Ah, I don't know if... I want to get on top of that thing. There's a thing up there. There we go. A mold to make a two-handed sword. Cool. Might be something that I actually need. 
Haha, <laughs> you can't hit me. Apparently I can't hit you either. Yeah. Double damage! Except no blood came out, so... Yeah, I don't think I can hurt it. <laughs> no. God, the dwarf there got crushed. Incoming. Ha ha, you have shitty pathfinding. How does it feel? Power so you know, maybe I'm supposed to mess with this after the thing's dead. Actually, wait, maybe not. Ah. Ah. I almost just died there. Now I should be able to crush it nicely. Crush you into a fine wet powder. That's not even possible. That would be a sludge. Alright, come on. Boom! How's that feel? Why is that thing like burning? I guess it broke. Is that thing even dead? It's not even touching the ground. Anyway. Okay. Cool, cool. That was actually a pretty cool little sequence. It was very awkward, but it was pretty cool. Probably impossible to pick. I don't think any of these can be picked. That's not possible. Strange. It should work. Perhaps this can be picked. That's not possible. Never mind. Hmm. I want to make sure I'm not missing something about that. Looks like I used up the power source. This doesn't work for some reason. <laughs> this thing is actually constructed, at least partially, out of wood. Which is a terrible idea, considering there is lava literally about one inch under the floor. Ooh, hello. A little metal key. Did, did I just burn my footsie in the lava? Perhaps that makes the other lever work? Ooh, the, those floorboards don't look too good. Mine Logbook by Isop Ethan Foreman. Okay, maybe that would explain what the hell happened. Ooh, tools. I wish I had some torches. Read that book in a second. I want to follow up on this lever before I forget about it. Okay, now it works. Oh, so I guess I could have had it fall into a pit of lava? <laughs> the 
that seems like a bit of a, a workplace safety problem, don't you think? Because this is obviously somewhere where they did work. So, seems like having a place where the bottom can fall out and open up a pit of lava seems like a bit of a bad idea. Let's see if this key goes to this. No. Hmm. What's the key for? Well, I suppose I have to make my way back, right? Maybe that's for somewhere back? Alright, let's read the logbook and see if we can find out what happened here. Report 87. Year 266, Brown Season, third day of the Week of the Eagle. After weeks and weeks of hard labor, we have finally discovered a vein of mithril. There was a cry of joy from the workers, and as they stood before the point where the vein of mithril emerged, they had tears in their eyes. It is situated far away to the east. As it is quite a long way from the grinding room, we built a track upon which wagons will transport the ore directly to the grinding room. Ah, oh, good to know. To the east, okay. Port 88. Since discovering the vein, we have dug in all different directions from its initial starting point. When we mined north, we discovered a strange cavity. It seemed to be both natural and artificially dug out at the same time. There was a strong animal smell coming from it, and we thought it must be a den of some wild beast. As this is the week of the rat, I feel some trepidation about what the future holds for us. Oh no. That's where this thing came from. They dug into the wrong place. Oh my god, you can even see blood on the ground, on the map. Alright, well, this key must allow me to go back somehow. It certainly doesn't allow me to go through here. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I thought there was only one. Fuck. Alright, come on. I need to burn you. I just leveled up. I wish it said how much XP I got for that. Curious. Okay. So of course let's put it in mental. Which will increase my mana points to... 144. Nine more mana points. Nice. Let's get technical skill up to 80. I think at this point I'm just abandoning object knowledge. Because when it comes to making potions, it just seems like potions don't really matter to me all that much. So, eh. Now, do I want to get te technical skill up to 90 or increase casting? Hmm. Let's increase casting. 99. Nice. Alright, given that that monster just sprouted forth from the wall over there, that's probably where I'm supposed to use the key. What were you doing back there? Ah, I came from up there. Clever. I was thinking perhaps the level designer Forgot to include a plausible reason for how the monster could have been behind there, but no, they they remembered. It came from a hole. Alright, let's hope there's not more.
Is this like grain storage or something? I see a thingy. Another power stone. This one's a gold key. Oh, another mold. Another key. At this point, I probably seriously do have like 20 pounds of keys on my keyring. I want to know if they go to that door back there. This one, but then again, it only just, it just seems like it just connects right up to the other place. So it's probably nothing more than a shortcut. There's nothing hidden up there. <laughs> Honestly, it seems like that's their living quarters which seem particularly uncomfortable. <laughs> After what I just fought, I'm not too worried about these rats. I wonder if I can cook the dwarf meat. Ew. Forge. Ah, fresh air. Mm. Metal mining. Alright, so this is going to the east, so this is going to be where the den was. I wonder if we're going to find more of them in the den. Did I really just miss a rat? Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Look at all this machinery. Pliers and files and tools. Even a bucket. I should be able to repair my weapons with that. Something is wrong. Of course it is, and he's a power source. Looks like I need two power sources, of which I have exactly two. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Of course, I need the mithril ingots or whatever first. Locked. Locked. Choose up one with low durability so I can clear some inventory space. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. There you go. There you go. Whew. These long swords are probably worth quite a bit. It's a pretty shield, but unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to find a shield that's better than what I have probably ever. I actually got pretty good magic protection, plus 30%. But this one is plus 40. I'll keep it to sell it, though. Mithril chest armor. It's not even close to good compared to what I have, but that's got to sell for quite a bit. Did I really just burn myself again? <laughs> God damn it, who designed these floors?
Alright, well, I'm guessing this is going to be where I actually make these molds, so I might as well leave them here to save the inventory space. Just put them on the ground. That's fine. Look at that. Big sword and a baby sword. Oh, it's so cute. It's so tiny. I guess I gotta take a quick look at the book. Place a powerful stone, energy, okay. Two large pieces of ore, okay, yeah, so that's the part I don't have. No ore. Alright, let's go get some ore. Let's go to where they mined. I really do wish I had a torch. If I could find the damn teleportal on this level, then I could go back and perhaps buy some. Now, they seem to have run out of torches for the main store at uh, Arcs, but I think that the guy down below, part of the two busy brothers, I think he might have more. Maybe. I feel like it's been forever since I've actually found a freaking torch, though. Like, does nobody use them? How the hell does a fern grow out of solid rock? Hmm, there's scratches on the ground and blood. Probably, thankfully, though, it seems to have caved in. Ooh, ore. Is that mithril? Mm, just a chunk of metal, so I can probably use that to make the normal swords. Yeah, I just know another one of those monsters is going to pop out somewhere. It's so dark. I want some fucking torches. Alright, I'm going to use night vision. Right. No magic here. Damn it, I keep forgetting. Please have a torch. Ah, no torch. I have four power stones, though. Why would you have a bottle of blood on you? What the hell, dude? It's creepy. Perhaps this note will illuminate the matter. Unlike my lack of torches. Akinor. I think we're about to run out of mithril. The situation becomes more disturbing every day, and I can't find even an ounce of mithril in our minds. We must find a solution without delay. Oridoc. <laughs> Can't find even an ounce of mithril in their minds. Well, shit, how am I going to find any? Was there another pathway to go? Not sure I want to go down the hole yet. Yeah, there's another pathway. Actually, there's a bunch of pathways. I swear, that pickaxe is smaller than the one I have. It is! Yeah. 
It just occurred to me. This pickaxe seems unnaturally large even for me, right? And this pickaxe is unnaturally small for me. And they actually technically count as separate items in my inventory, they don't stack. Look at that attention to detail, I just realized what that means. The axe that I have, the pickaxe that I have, I think is from the trolls. That's why it's extra large. This one's extra small because it's from the dwarves. And they're actually separate entities in the game. Scaled differently and they take up different slots in the inventory even though they have the same name. Huh. I'm impressed. Alright, well I'm going to keep my huge ass one because it looks cool. Oh, this is where the hole goes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these scratch marks coming out of this hole. As all of the, the beasts were unleashed, clawing their way out. Try not to break my legs here. Oh, god. Okay. Uh, sure. Cool. Close enough. Laser beams. Some sort of a teleportal? Teleporter, rather? Way out. Let's power this thing up. I wonder what I'd actually do with this. Nothing's incoming. It's going from exploding star to box. From box to exploding star. Okay, let's um teleport some dwarf flesh. It didn't work. What about an emerald? Yeah, I have no idea what that's for. Thank God, a torch. Only one, but a torch. Aw, and a morning glory flower. I... shit. I meant that to go on your body as like a memorial thing, not to phase through it. And now I can't get it back. God damn it. Wait, wait, I think I shot... I think I saw it. It popped up for a second. Uh, oh, there we go. There you go. <gasps> A big chunk of mithril, yes! Do I just need one chunk? Hopefully that's enough. Where did it go? Where did it go?
Let me sort my inventory. Oh. It's not actually in my inventory. Uh. Oh, it's not something I actually can put in my inventory, apparently. So, this is what's supposed to be transported. I'm not sure exactly where that's going to pop into, but... Oh, 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 I think it's working! Yes! It went somewhere. Now, is one enough? Put two large pieces of ore into the oven. Okay, so, no, I need two. Alright, that's all there was up there, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm, where'd I find the next one? I guess maybe I need to go here and go east? I mean, that is all that's in here, right? I think so. I so wish I could use super fast movement. Oh, I miss it so much. Oh wait, I haven't been here, have I? Nope. Oh. That wasn't very exciting. So where does a piece of ore actually pop up? Is it in here? Because I don't remember seeing a transport thing in here. Oh dear god, where have I sent my loot? Yeah, where did I just transport it to? I think this is where I'm supposed to put the ore. Hmm. Wow, this club actually does a lot of damage. Four. Actually does more than my current sword. Or not, not four, sorry. Nine. Why the hell did I say four? And I burn my toes again. Yeah, I don't know where the hell I just transported my ore to. Shows it uh, continuing here. What the hell? It says there's a pathway here. I beg to differ. It looks like a wall to me. 
Well, in that case, where the hell? Hmm, maybe I just need to find the next piece just... out of here. Maybe it's somewhere down here. Wait, how do I actually leave this place? Because that's locked, isn't it? Unless I have the key to it, I might. Oh, there's the ore. Maybe if I crush it, I get two big pieces. Seems unlikely. Okay, there we go. That's how I get out. Yeah, what if I... I mean, why would the ore be transported here? Further away from the forge. Unless I had to crush it. The thing seems broken, though, but let me see if I can put another power source in there. Hmm, okay. Oh, calm down. Calm down. All right. Keep my hands clear. Ugh. Oh, that rock is gonna... That mithril's gonna get a, get a little bit bloody. It's gonna be pulped with the dwarf. Oh wow, it actually makes four. So in that case, I can actually make two mithril weapons, huh? Alright, well I have everything I need in that case. Alright, this is where I started, right? Yeah. Unlock all the doors here. Figure out where everything connects. Foundry, yep. Forge. <laughs> Just slightly caved in. No biggie. Alright, well we are in business. I think I have everything I need to make the weapon. Hell, to make two weapons, I think. So, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed so far, and when I return, I will attempt to forge the best weapon that has ever been made.